Welcome to the Egyptian numeration system. I'm Dusty Jones and uh, let's look at these Egyptian numerals. The Egyptians uh, have a numeration system uh, that was changed into hieroglyphic writing. Uh, you may be familiar with this from watching Discovery Channel or Raiders of the Lost Ark or something like that. Um, uh, and this enabled them to write numbers, um, whole numbers, up to a million and even beyond that. Um, it had a, a decimal base, so it's base 10, which is like our Hindu Arabic system. And it also used the additive principle, which means that uh, those numbers, um, you take the values for the different hieroglyphs and add them together to get the whole, the, the whole value for the number. Here are the symbols uh, that uh, they used. Um, uh, a, a rod or a tally mark for one. Uh, something that looks like an upside down U. I think it was referred to as a heel bone for 10. A coiled rope. Uh, this one happens to be coiled kind of uh, one direction. I don't know if you see that as clockwise or counterclockwise. But we can also write that another way. Um, 1000 was a lotus flower. Uh, sort of looks like Pac-Man. Uh, 10,000 was a pointing finger. 100,000 was a frog. I've also seen this as a fish. I usually write a fish for 100,000. And 1 million uh, was either a picture of an astonished man. Uh, when I draw this, it usually looks like a stick figure. Um, or it could also be a, a picture of a, a certain uh, Egyptian deity. Um, so right here I'll just show you an example using the symbols for 1, 10, and 100. So 1 was a staff, or a, a 10 is a heel bone, and uh, 100 is a coil of rope. Notice this is coiled a different direction in the previous picture. And so there, if we look at a few examples, we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. Five here, they're kind of stacked together, but they could all be in a row. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40. Again, here they're stacked. They could all be in a row. That's fine. And 50. And 100, 200, 300, 400. Again, stacked, although we could put them in a row. And now 500. Again, these are stacked, but they could be in a row. If we look at a number like 352, uh, we could group them as in, in the same symbols and put larger symbols or symbols that represent numbers of larger value first. So 300s, 510s, and 21s, or, but really it doesn't matter. Uh, the Egyptian system is not positional, which means the position of the numbers doesn't matter. So where I have two coils of rope, two heel bones, two staves, three heel bones, and a coil of rope. That's still 352. And likewise, 206, I could have two coils of rope and uh, six staffs, or uh, put three staffs, a coil of rope, three staffs, a coil of rope. Um, this made addition in the Egyptian system very easy because you just pushed the symbols together. Also notice in Hindu Arabic, I have a zero to show there's no tens but I don't need to put any zero heel bones on 206. I just don't write any heel bones. As an example uh, of, of some different ways that Egyptians wrote, I want to show you hieroglyphics and hieratics. Uh, these are kind of related in a way that maybe in English we have print and we have cursive styles of handwriting, um, sort of like that. So if we want to write the number 1,976, uh, in hieroglyphics, we'll need to use the lotus flower symbol. If it will let me draw, here we go, for 1,000. And then 900, I need nine coils of rope. Uh, seven tens, so seven heel bones, 
and six ones. There we go. Uh, using hieroglyphics for 2010, we'll need two thousands. And remember, this system is not positional, so it really doesn't matter uh, if I put all the the thousands together or not. So I've got two thousands with a ten in the middle. That's still 2010. The Egyptian system is additive, which means I add the value thousand plus ten plus thousand to get uh, 2010. It's not positional, meaning the order of the symbols doesn't matter. Hieratics was a little bit different, and you can see that on page 39 of the textbook, Historical Topics for the Mathematics Classroom. Um, in Hieratics, it's also an additive system. Also, uh, it's not positional, so the order doesn't matter, but I will write it in the order um, from largest place to smallest place. Uh, the symbol for 1,000 uh, looks something like this. And the symbol for 900 is like this, sort of. And the symbol for 70 looks sort of like that. And the symbol for 6 So four symbols uh, as opposed to uh, the many symbols we had to use. Let's see, that's uh, there are 23 symbols in hieroglyphics. In 2010, there is a symbol for 2,000. And there is a symbol for 10, which looks like this. And so as you can see by looking at, uh, looking here, that hier hieratics use a lot fewer symbols um, to write a particular number, whereas hieroglyphics might use a lot. On the other hand, um, if you glance at in your textbook, uh, there are a lot of different hieratic symbols to know, uh, whereas there's just a few, uh, com relatively so, uh, to get writing numbers in hieroglyphics up to past a million.